Now, living on wheels is more than just a lifestyle. It's a conscious choice. Each day, I make it a priority to spend quality time with my dog, Ranger, as we explore new trails, create lasting memories, or if it's just hiking through the woods, enjoying the serenity of a quiet morning or unwinding by the campfire. This journey is about embracing life to the fullest. Join me as I share the beauty of simple living, connecting with nature, and making the most of every moment. Subscribe and be part of this incredible journey with us. So I am on the way to uh, my client's um, final walkthrough. Then I'll take her to lunch. It's a two hour drive actually where I have to go this morning. And then um, we'll go to her closing at 3.30. So it will definitely be a long day. So I start out with giving Ranger a treat to try to hold him over. And hey. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, it's going to be a long day. So the little boy will be lonely. But hey, mom's got to work. So mom can buy him some toys, some dog food. Oh gosh, I just realized that I'm wearing these huge, big walking shoes. I mean, they're not pretty either. They're dirty and everything. I forgot to change my shoes into dress shoes. It's too late now. I have to just go with it. Turn right onto US 15. I'm on the way out the door again to work, hopefully half a day. And I'm so mad at myself that I hit my snooze button for about an hour and a half this morning, which made me run late. So, literally I had to brush my teeth real quick, but my breath smells okay. So hopefully I did a good job on that. Um, and barely brushed my hair kind of put it up in a thing but the good thing is hopefully I'm only gonna work a half a day and then I'll pick up Ranger and we're gonna head to Myrtle Beach and help my son so we actually are gonna take a road trip today um, hoping I'm off this weekend because I really would like to uh, just sleep in late and have the experience of full-time camping <laughs> you know sitting by the campfire late at night and stuff like that and so I got a call coming through, so I gotta hang it up. Ranger's excited because we are headed on a road trip just for the night to Myrtle Beach to visit my son. Isn't that right, buddy? You get to get out of the camper, huh? So Ranger and I, we took a really long nap today. I'm feeling a little under the weather. I've got this like bite behind my um behind my my neck. And I don't know if it's like a tick bite or a spider bite, but I'm kind of achy and it's turned into like a sore. And of course, because it's sore, you know, I can't keep my hands off of it. You know how that goes. So since we're kind of feeling a little bit under the weather, even after I took a nap, um, I'm just going to have like grilled cheese for supper tonight. And instead of cooking outside, I'm just going to cook on the inside. And it might be late, but still. It might be late, but I kind of want to have some coffee. Hopefully it's not too late for that. So, here we have grilled cheese. Grilled cheese sandwiches. And coffee. I may call the doctor tomorrow and get a doctor's appointment or I may just wait till Monday because I don't want to spend my $40 copay uh, for it to be nothing, you know? So,
Wait, let mama go first. Wait. Okay. Now, just because you live full-time on wheels don't mean that you still can't be self-sufficient. Here, I'm just planning um, a few things for, it's the end of August, so it's time to, that we can plant radishes and a few other things to help give us uh, food to eat. I just used all my wood. It's not even dark yet, so I'm gonna go out here and try to gather up some wood. I smell good. I smell like campfire. Best smell in the world. Yeah, my fire's burning pretty good, but I gotta go out there and find some wood. alternative lifestyle, it gives me the opportunity to simplify, find balance, and capture every moment. hot water. I was in there too long. So, ooh, cold now. Why did you go back to bed, buddy? Why did you go back to bed? It's time to get up. Come on. Last night was nice because the campground has a lot of people out here, actually, and just hearing the laughter of kids and, you know, smelling the campfire of people hanging out by the campfire. <coughs> well, just relaxing. It was just a nice sound. Um, and so it's a Saturday. And it looks like I am going to be off unless I have an opportunity to make money because I won't never get that up. You know, I'll work if I have an opportunity. So I went and bought eggs. So I'm going to fry out some eggs for breakfast. Ranger's already been out for his walk. I'm having a little bit of an ant issue. I don't see any right now, but I bought this honey the other day from the market, from the farmer's market. And I don't know if it's because, you know, when you take a spoon out and I take a spoon every day and eat it, um, maybe they sense that smell or something. So they're, they're like the sweet, the sweet ants. You know, the little black ants. So, yeah, so uh, today's going to be, hopefully, if I don't have to work. Uh, so far, so good. But I feel like the bills. Be quiet. Be quiet. Other people are getting up, too. Um, so the weather last week, whenever I uh, made a video, it was so hot. Like, if you saw my last video, it was so hot, I was like, couldn't really stand it, because we're in August, and so now we're in the last week of August, and it cooled off a lot, so very nice. The mosquitoes are still bad, but um, thank you, Ranger. You gonna turn my camera over, buddy? Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure if I'm just gonna clean up the camper today with some cleaning products or we'll definitely hike a little bit that would be more for his exercise today because and of course I'm going to fill up my water bottles go down to where the water's coming out and fill those up because that water tastes better than oh, any water you can buy at the store so yeah Ranger's turning over right now. Want me to rub his, rub his chest. He likes that. There's nothing like the smell of coffee in the mornings, while I cook up these eggs in the camper, surrounded by the woods. 
for the next two days, we're going to have no spend days. Money not spent is money saved. It's all part of enjoying a full-time life on wheels, embracing the simple pleasures without spending a dime. My goal is to buy land and be debt-free. So if I have an opportunity to work and make any money at all, I'll usually take that opportunity and try to save everything that I can. My dog Ranger and I, we do live a very frugal lifestyle. Um, I will say my weakness is sodas. I can't seem to pass a drive through without stopping to get a fountain drink. And as, as you may know, that adds up. So I did clean the kitchen with cleaning products and hopefully that'll take care of the ant problem that I was having. And it makes you just feel so good when, when things are clean. So Ranger and I, we are going to hike a three mile hike to go down and get our waters, our fresh water. And so my bag is full of mason jars, the large ones. I'd rather drink my water out of glass than out of plastic. I just think it tastes a whole lot better. So remember today's a no spend day. So, you know, to crank up the truck, that's gas. Uh, so we are gonna make it a fun day, right, buddy? Ah, uh -uh, get down. I had to dump my bag, had to hide it behind a tree. It was too heavy. So I ended up having to crank my truck anyway. Drive it three miles, we walked three miles there, three miles back, but the bag was too heavy ha having all that water and those glass um, containers. Man, it was a good idea though. Or was it a bad idea? I don't know.